Guys, it's Brandon Green again, once again, of the Let's Go Brandon Green podcast today, talking about Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and more about David Packman's take on his followers, a lot of hardcore lefties, um, there, and he's really freaking out now on what to do, and he's trying to have a bet both ways, trying to not really rubbish Robert F. Kennedy Jr. too much, because to bring you all up to speed is... What's going on is Trump is obviously going to be the Republican candidate for the 2024 election. And heading into that election, it could very well possibly be no longer Biden. As we know, the dude Sleepy Joe, sleep at the wheel, could possibly be this new guy, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He's well known in the um, politics circles of his family in American politics. And uh, he is pretty much like a 75% version of Trump. Like, he is not two leftists because left have gone that far left that they've gone off the fucking edge of the world that yeah it could very well be a dude that more aligns with trump well and truly than he does with biden and kamala who is she where is she harris and it's incredible so let's get into this and see what's going on let's talk about one of the most controversial candidates in the 2024 primary field and he seems to be all right democratic presidential primary i'm talking about robert f kennedy jr now as a reminder bobby kennedy jr is the son of robert f kennedy robert f kennedy was assassinated while running for president an extraordinarily gifted politician was robert f kennedy bobby kennedy jr is also the nephew of former president john f kennedy who was of course also assassinated while serving as president. So Bobby Kennedy comes from this political dynasty that has impacted American political history for a very long time. Environmental lawyer, activist who has fought for clean water and renewable energy and climate justice, has a long record of advocacy for really important issues, poverty, civil rights, healthcare, democracy, things that he truly inherited from his late father, uh, Robert Kennedy. And he's a super interesting candidate and a nice guy who I've met, I had dinner with, we have many friends in common. And also, he has become a very powerful anti-vaccine voice. He says he's not against vaccines, but simply for tested and safe vaccines. Aren't we all? But when we actually look at the disinformation that he has spread, not only about vaccines, but also talking about hydroxychloroquine as if it's proven to work for COVID. I mean, there's safe a and long effective list guys, of remember, stuff from safe and effective. Jr. He's made concerning comments about Pac-Man Russia and Ukraine taking the, some, some sort of strange, softly pro Putin perspectives. He has talked about um, uh, he's actually talked about gay frogs. I'm talking about Bobby Kennedy Jr. here, not Alex Jones. Um, and he also I mean, just like as another example, he's made wild, unsubstantiated claims about China. He recently said on Newsmax, of all places, that China is developing a racist bioweapon that targets people based on ethnicity. Listen to this. Well, what, what I worry about is, is a WMD like a virus, like a gain of function, something. Do, do you worry about that? Because I see that as sort of the next, the next big fight because, you know, those viruses don't see any borders and, uh, and they're relatively cheap to do this gain of function. I mean, it's just so, you know, that's what I worry about more than the big hardware. Yeah, you're exactly right. And we know that the Chinese are developing ethnic bioweapons, bioweapons that are designed to attack people of certain racial types. And the and we're doing the same thing. We OK, we, so does he provide any evidence that that's happening? He does not. Is there any evidence that I was able to find? No, I was able to find some conjecture about this from last month, also without evidence. But I was not able to find any evidence that that's going on. Is it possible that you could make a racist bioweapon? It might be possible. So so like an, an ethnic bioweapon, hypothetically, which targets people of specific ethnicities or races or genotypes, could conceivably be created, but experts and officials say it, it's it's not totally clear that you could do it. Uh, you might be able to genetically engineer some pathogen to target DNA markers that are specific to some racial or ethnic group. Maybe like maybe it could be done. 
Another possibility would be like a gene therapy that creates a virus to target particular DNA sequences. But there are many forget about the ethical challenges. Let's assume the ethics go out the window. There are some insane technical challenges to do this. And one of them is the one that often comes up in debates about IQ. There is such genetic diversity within ethnic groups that Very such well a technology would be extremely difficult to actually do what it, I'm not what saying it's impossible, yeah, but exactly. right now, extreme hurdles and no evidence that it's being done. But Bobby Kennedy says, oh, this thing is happening. Another is example, it? Bobby Kennedy Jr. is ho hosting a so-called health policy roundtable featuring unhinged conspiracy theorist Sherry Tenpenny. Sherry Tenpenny is her. this um, uh, uh, person. I, I, we, I don't want to get into the whole osteopathy thing again. She, she's a, 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 an individual who happens to be an osteopath who has um, made all sorts of insane claims about everyone you know is soon going to be dead from the COVID vaccine and uh, all of these other things. Hope not. So how do we what do we make of Bobby Kennedy Jr.? Is he a viable challenger to Joe Biden? Should we support or oppose him? For me, the the, the situation is pretty clear. Bobby Kennedy Jr. is articulate, articulate and smart. He delivers really powerful speeches, even with the struggles of, of his voice with uh, uh, spastic dysphonia. He still delivers very powerful speeches. He uh, appeals to emotion and reason in a way that clearly resonates with people. He has a personal story and a family legacy that can be inspirational to voters. He's right on many issues. When you look at health care and Green New Deal, uh, minimum wage, criminal justice reform, voting rights expansion, uh, ending wars, Bobby Kennedy Jr. is right on many issues. On the other side, he is dangerously unhinged in some areas. The promotion of unproven conspiracy theories, the pseudoscience, this stuff really undermines some of the core structures that go towards public health and national security. Um, he seems disconnected with reality, quite frankly, on some of those issues. He will often attack fellow Democrats who happen to disagree with him on some of these issues. He's supported by a super PAC tied to MAGA. He seems to be gaining support from folks on the right who see him merely as a chaos agent, potentially to derail Joe Biden very well, and put a hardcore right winger in the Oval Office. Because so it's going to be two Trumps going at each other. It's going to be the funniest hand, thing I've ever seen. There is much to like about Bobby Kennedy Jr. In some sense, I would love to support the guy. This is where the guy has to have a bet both way because he because he knows that he's putting his finger up in the air to see which way the wind's blowing. Because he's he just did a post to all his followers saying, "Guys, what do you think of uh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr.?" And they're all twenty percent, at least twenty percent of his followers said, "Yeah, he's good. I'll vote for him over Biden." And uh, he's like, "Fuck!" It's going to cause a massive division. In not only his fan base but the whole democrat fan base and because of most of the normal people that have been brainwashed trump's orange man bad yet can't actually say why orange man is bad <laughs> they're all the ones that are going to be like oh yeah well he makes more sense than biden because biden doesn't make any sense and kamala harris or whatever the fuck's going on you, th you know what i mean they're all going to vote for him and even some Republicans who are never Trumpers, they're going to but have, you know, they don't like Trump. They, they're they going to go over and vote for him as well because it's not Trump. He's just a great option for someone who's Trump, but it's not Trump. And we know Trump's a great option and the best president that there's ever been in America. So imagine if you could just get rid of the one thing about Trump that's bad about Trump, which is... The fact that he's Donald Trump, then boom, you're in. But Pac-Man and a hardcore leftist like Pac-Man, he doesn't like it. And uh, neither does 80% of his followers. But yeah, it's incredible that even 20% of his followers, because he's the full alt-left, still like, um, still a lot. Yeah, he's not a bad. It's going to be fucking fantastic. But he's saying this because he knows that very shortly he may have to be all pumped pumping up Robert F. Kennedy Jr. heading into the 2024 elections against Donald Trump. 
and it'll be amazing to watch. Um, but based on his current positions, uh, I don't think that that's something that I can do. I also don't but think you he may can win the be nomination nor the general election uh, with the views that he has. He may be able to. He may be able to damage Joe Biden. Um, but I don't believe that he has a path to the Democratic nomination, nor am I convinced at this point that he would have a path to the presidency if he somehow got on the ballot. Let me know your thoughts. I am not just laughing him off. I'm actually giving you a, a more nuanced perspective than some are willing to give about Bobby Kennedy Jr. But at this point, it doesn't seem like in its totality, it's something that I can support. Please. Please, Lord Zucks, 